Every broke man's love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. What? It's not gifts because they can't afford it. It's not quality time because I find that like broke men, they're split 50-50. There's broke men who they like on are on a hamster wheel. You know, they constantly are working like a bunch of odd jobs or blue collar jobs or whatever. It's always a fatherless black woman that wants to get on a mic, get on the internet, and talk about their own personal experiences in the dating market. It's always some single mother, single black woman, non-father having black woman that wants to talk crap with no father figure as a reference point. See, you don't know what a real man is because you're basing what a real man is strictly on finance. Don't you dare say anything about blue collar workers because blue collar workers feel America. But yet you want to call them throat? Where's your money at, ma'am? Oh, wait, you're too broke. So you gotta depend on men for money. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Say it with me. Roll that clip. And they're not really making much money. So they have to keep working, working, working just to make a living. So therefore they don't have time to spend with you or they're extremely lazy and they just want to like spend all of their free time playing video games. And it's not acts of service because typically broke men are broke because they are lazy and they're not hard workers. And if they're not hard workers and they want to do the bare minimum in, in life, they don't really want to perform an act of service because that would require way too much energy. Physical touch and words of affirmation are free and it's very easy for them to give you, to provide you with those love languages. So if those are his two main love languages, it's highly likely that he's broke. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to what this woman tried to say. Men do not have love languages. Women have love languages because a love language tells a man how a woman wants to be loved. When have you ever heard of a man having a love language? We are men. We have specific ways that we want to be loved, but it's not a love language. It's called loving your man the way that he wants you to love him. Not the way a test tells you to love him, but how he wants you to love him. Yep. Women oftentimes are single and they want to project their insecurities onto the dating market. Yep. If you notice the wording this woman used, she called blue collar people broke. She called broke men. The only two love languages that a broke man has is physical touch and words of affirmation. But the types of men that you and your friends and women like you tend to go after, they don't have words of affirmation. Nope. They have words that sound good, words that make you feel good. It's called game, not words of affirmation. See, it's always a fatherless black woman that wants to get on a mic, get on the internet, 
and talk about their own personal experiences in the dating market. And let me be clear. A lot of men may play video games, but that doesn't mean they're pro. In order for you to play video games, you need money. Do you understand how expensive a PS5, Nintendo Switch, or a Xbox One S is? Not to mention the, the console only comes with one controller. And don't get me started on PC games. And if you build a custom PC like I have, you would spend upwards of two to three, even $4,000 on a custom made PC that you had to build yourself. So you cannot be broke and be a gamer and keep up with the latest games. And it's always a woman that wants to just say any and everything to hate on men because you deal with pokies and ray rays. You deal with Glocktavius Prime. You deal with losers. You deal with bottom of the barrel men. So you're projecting your own insecurities onto the dating market and passing it off as truth. Fellas, that's what women do. Whenever you see a woman make a video about men, just know that she is talking about the men that she is dating and the men that she has dated. You will never, ever see a woman say, you know what? I messed up. You know what? I nagged him. You know what? I did this. Because accountability is like kryptonite to modern women. This woman gets on the, the camera. She creates a TikTok. But yet this black woman is single. No man in sight. Which leads me to believe that the reason why she's single is again because she's, she is a modern woman. And what do modern women do? They have shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. They don't want to take accountability. It can be really mean and women have this fictitious idea of how a man should be and how much money he should have. And does he drive? Does he have his own car? Six figures, how much is bougie and it's not realistic and you get what you get. It's also really hard for men to date and to put themselves out there. I'm glad that woman said that because it needed to be said. Now in the dating market, women do have a fictitious thought process of how a man should look, how a man should be, what kind of car he should drive, where he should live. I remember I was watching Ayala Fix My Life. And I noticed a trend in each one of those videos. The woman was controlling. Yep. Fellas, you ever dealt with a controlling woman? Because I sure have, and it is not fun. A lot of women are controlling because they are mad at their mother or father. They get that controlling nature from entitlement and from childhood because their mother was controlling. Their mother didn't know how to choose a mate. And when I was watching that show, I realized that there's a pattern not only in this show, but in the dating market. A lot of these women out here with unrealistic expectations have that because their mothers taught them that. Yep. Their lack of a father figure taught them what it's like to not have a father. Their lack of stability in the household taught them what type of man that they're going to be attracted to. So it starts at home. When you grow up, and I've talked about this on my lives and in my videos multiple times, when you grow up as a woman and you do not have the important father figure in your life and your mother deals with men, if your mother dealt with a drug dealer, you're going to deal with a drug dealer. 
If your mother dealt with a loser, you're going to grow up and deal with losers. If you didn't have a father growing up, you're going to look for a father in the men that you date. Whatever you were exposed to as a little girl, you're going to repeat as an older woman. This is the reason why so many women are broken in the black community because they have not healed from that trauma and that traumatic past. And not only have they not healed, but they don't want to. They think it's normal to have entitlement. They think it's normal to have unrealistic expectations. They think it's normal to want a man with money and to not do anything but look pretty because they get it from their mama like the rap song why do you think all of these toxic traits exist in modern women today look at their moms look at their moms look at their lack of a father figure at home look at it i guarantee you that you will find so many black women that grew up without a dad, their mom dated trash, and they date trash too. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.